Barakata Yahabwa, Barakata Yahabashai, Bahashom, Rakahakwadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahabwa, Bahashom, Yahabashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video, and I'm going to start it off in Isaiah chapter 29, verses 18 to 21. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. And we're living in that day right now when the elect of the nation of Israel are waking back up to their identity as Israelites and coming back to their power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the men of the Lord. The prophets of the Most High out on the highways and byways preaching this word as well as putting up video epistles like this online, breaking down the scriptures in 144 percent truth, clarity and uh, correctness. And the main camp that we can clearly see if you're dealing in the spirit that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has made his tabernacle in is GMS or Great Millstone, as well as the brothers that come in the spirit of GMS. The meek also shall increase their joy in Yahweh, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. The elect of the nation of Israel, the meek and the poor amongst the nations, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the true children of Israel, a finally seeing hope and uh, salvation from this situation, this horrific situation, of a hardcore bondage and captivity we've been in for the last couple of hundred years through the scriptures we know that these heathens chiefly our main enemy amongst the heathens esau edom the so-called white man is going to go down hey and the kingdom of heaven ruled under ruled by the children of israel is going to be established where hey we're going to be at peace for eternity is quickly coming to its fulfillment for the terrible one is brought to naught, these Edomites, the, the current heathen nation that's in control of the planet right now. Hey, he's first and foremost, he's being brought to naught by the men of the Lord prophesying this word, being that spiritual prosecution team, using the scriptures to bring up uh, his crimes and sins before the judge. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And then as it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. He will destroy him with the brightness of his coming when Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, the son of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so-called Jesus Christ, makes a second coming to save his elect and put an end to Esau Edom's rulership and begin establishing the kingdom of heaven. And the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All the wicked and the ways of the wicked finally being a... Uh, hey, not exalted as they are in this current system that we're living in and put under the feet of righteousness. But here's the main point I wanted to get to that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Because with the power of uh, the preaching of this word through the men of the Lord, we are bringing about the end of Esau Edom. And these heathens as a whole's rulership on the planet Earth and ushering in the kingdom of heaven. As it says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 12, well, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom and the gospel of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, again, correctly being preached by GMS or Great Millstone, being a preached out on the highways and byways and uh, being pushed on the unicorn or the internet. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come point blank period by the men of the Lord simply preaching this word. We're bringing about the end of this current world or age of the rulership of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites and the elites of the Edomites such as your Rothschilds, your Rockefellers, etc., etc., understand this because they understand the scriptures and know that when the nation of Israel 
begins to uh, call back on their power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the prophets are out prophesying this word. Whatever kingdom that's ruling at the time is going to come to an end. And the children of Israel are going to be put back in a high position ruling over them. And they also understand that they are the biblical Edomites and what the fate of the Edomites are when they're taken out of power for the last time. A thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery before they are permanently taken out of this planet by fire. So they're about to pull out all the stops to make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare or a trap for him that reproveth in the gate to demonize the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and the prophets preaching them to take them off the highways and byways and to especially take this word off the internet to try to keep biblical prophecy from coming to its fulfillment and to try to keep their rulership going, which at the end of the day is all futile and uh, nothing can stop biblical prophecy from coming to its fulfillment. But this devil is going to damn sure try to do so, which brings me to uh, the article I'll be profiling in this video on newspunch.com titled UN Secretary General declares war on disinformation we must lock up free thinkers, chiefly, mainly coming after the men of the Lord hey, that make a man an offender for a word. Because, again, as it said in Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14, when this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to the ends of the world unto all nations, which is uh, mainly been through the unicorn or the Internet, then shall the end come. They want to stop this word from going out. So they're going to come up with these snares and traps, these uh, agendas and legislation to so-called combat disinformation, uh, misinformation, hate speech, them trying to avert prophecy and uh, keep their kingdom going. But let's get into this article. The United Nations has declared war against the spreaders of so-called misinformation and has urged governments worldwide to punish people who spread so-called non-mainstream views. On Monday, UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez addressed the General Assembly in New York and called out misinformation and disinformation as a vehicle for spreading hate online. UN Secretary General will call for action from everyone with influence on the spread of mis- and disinformation on the internet, as in, suppress anyone outside of the government and technocratic organizations who dares to question or scrutinize their ministry of truth. We will call for action from everyone with influence on the spread of mis- and disinformation on the internet. Governments, regulators, policymakers, technology companies, the media, civil society. Stop the hate. Set up strong guardrails. Be accountable for language that causes harm. And as part of my report to our common agenda, we are convening all stakeholders around the Code of Conduct for information integrity on digital platforms. And we'll also further strengthen our focus on how mis- and disinformation are impacting progress on global issues, including the climate crisis. And this Internet has been a major thorn in the sides of the powers that be because this Internet and the easy spread of information globally has allowed everybody to have a voice out there. I believe it was one of the Rockefellers that said one of the worst inventions we ever uh, allowed out there was the Internet. And again, it's the men of the Lord using the unicorn or the Internet spreading this word. This gospel from one, one, end, one end of the earth unto the other as a witness unto all nations, which is bringing their rulership to an end. So they're going to do everything they can to uh, keep this word from going out. And we, hey, brothers that post videos already know what it's like. Our videos get taken down. Our pages get striked. And especially since this whole uh, C019 situation that began in 2020 and has really gone on to uh, 2023, we have to heavily uh, 
monitor the words that we use and speak in codes, because if we say the wrong thing, we'll be labeled as what? Misinformation, medical misinformation or anything like that. They'll take our pages down so we can clearly see that they're they're already coming with these agendas to just scrub the word from the Internet. There's eventually going to come a point to where they're going to be able to, you know, just shut this Internet down and only the information they want to get out is going to get out. But I'm going to go to Psalms chapter 19. I'm going to read verses one to four. The works and the word of the Most High to the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Hey, talking about those second heavens or space, more specifically, low orbit space, Leo, low earth orbit, where a lot of these satellites that beam these Internet signals from one end of the earth into the other dwell. And uh, the handiwork that the, the heavens are declaring and the firmament is shooing is the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai through the prophets using the Internet and posting these videos that are allowed to be seen by anyone with an internet connection across the planet, as it's about to go into, day unto day utter its speech, and night unto night shew with knowledge. I can uh, confidently and in all humility say that in at least in every hour of every day, there's a brother putting up a video right now, edifying the elect from day unto night. Hey, I'm doing this video right now, which I'm going to post to the Internet. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. You've got brothers prophesying in Babylon or America, in Canada, in Central and South America, in Europe, the UK, uh, Africa, the Philippines, Japan. The list goes on and on. Preaching this word in many different languages or tongues. You've even got brothers that do lessons in sign language. Their line is gone out through all the earth. And when you're on the Internet, what are you? You're online and their words to the end of the world. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come in them. Hath he set a tabernacle for the sun? And in the scriptures, the sun is can be symbolic for knowledge. So. Through us using this unicorn or Internet to spread this word across the planet, a we're spreading the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, waking up the elect of the nation of Israel and further bringing about the end of these heathens, chiefly these Edomites as rulership. Hence why the powers that be are continuing to come with all this legislation and uh, laws to label the truth as misinformation, disinformation, hate speech, medical information, medical disinformation, hey, to try to uh, avert prophecy from coming to, their, coming to its fulfillment. And it's only going to intensify as we get closer and closer to the end. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe or destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil or that deceiver Esau Edom, more specifically the elites using their uh, many different platforms and power structures, the UN, the WHO, the WEF, all these other alphabet organizations, these social media platforms, YouTube, Twitter, etc., etc. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the elites understand the scriptures and know that when the nation of Israel starts calling back on their power and the prophets are out prophesying, it's only a matter of time before whatever heathen that's ruling at the time is taken out of power. <laughs> and they know that their time is almost up because they see these things taking place. So they're going to come down in great wrath to take this word off the Internet, take the men of the Lord off the highways and byways. And try to put as many of uh, the elect of the nation of Israel and just the nation of Israel as a whole to death so they can further implement their NW0, their G-R-E-A-T-R-E-S-E-T, -E -E that fourth industrial revolution. 
We will call for action from everyone with influence on the spread of mis- and disinformation on the Internet, governments, regulators, policymakers, technology companies, the media, civil society, Gutierrez declared, stop the hate, set up strong guardrails, be accountable for language that causes harm, that make a man an offender for a word. Infowars.com reports, in other words, the UN is concerned with freedom of speech or the free speech protections outlined in the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment, well, un- they're unconcerned with it, safeguarding a citizen's right to freely speak their mind. The UN's efforts will no doubt encourage big tech companies to deplatform and ban users who dissent and question prescribed narratives and silence critics of the UN's NW0 plans. The UN Secretary General's declaration of war on free speech comes as the UN's WHO also released its International Pestilence Treaty, calling on member states to tackle false, misleading, misinformation, or disinformation, including through the promotion of international cooperation. A point blank period. We continue to see this devil coming down in great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And Apostle Tahar has deemed 2023 to be the hopeful year that all prophecies are fulfilled. And one of the prophecies that uh, will come to its fulfillment is the famine of the word. Well, you won't be able to find this word on the Internet or the men of the Lord on the highways and byways. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11 to 13. Behold, the days come which we're living in these days right now, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, though famines of food and water, food shortages are coming as well, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, the famine of the word, where again, the men of the Lord will no longer be on the highways and byways preaching this word, and, this, and these video epistles will not be accessible online, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst spiritually, because they won't be able to find the answers to all the terrible things that are taking place during Jacob's trouble, or drink from those rivers of living water, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which as it says in Isaiah 33 verse 6, is going to be our uh, stability in these terrible times of Jacob's trouble to come. So they're going to have to take whatever judgment comes their way for their uh, ignorance, silliness, and just uh, lack of care for getting the words of Yahweh by Hashem Shai when they were freely available. And whether this happens in 2023 or not, just the fact that 2023 has been deemed the hopeful year that all prophecies are fulfilled just goes to show us how close we are to these times and ultimately our salvation from underneath the, the rulership of these heathens, chiefly these Edomites. So while we still have yet liberty, to you sincere Akim and Akwath out there, drink from these rivers of living waters while you still can to get as much knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as you can so that can be the stability in these terrible times of Jacob's trouble we're coming into when the devil is going to fully come down in great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akim and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and until next time, Shalom.